Guys, we have a special guest today, Steve Johnson, TJ. So, what's the plan of action today, Steve? Any idea? I just pump you match play, mate. So, we're, what the plan is? We're going to do a four-hole match play game. Aye, where we're going to discuss before it's shot how we're going to play each shot, how how we're, we're going to get the ball from A to B, if that makes sense. So, seeing as Steve's a guest on the channel, what we're going to do is we're going to let Steve tee off first. Have so you been you. playing much, Steve, recently? No, really, no. No, no, no. no. Nah. Not at all. Uh, right, I'll go. So I'm going to hit... Um, I've got a... I've got a two iron here. Par five, how many yards have we got? We're off the winter we're off course, the, so we're just over 500 yards. Par five. I'm hitting two iron. I just want to keep it in play, and I'm going to play it as a tee shot anyway. There's quite a lot of rim down there, so I mean there is, there is a bit of margin for error if you do hit a driver. So I'm just going to try and make contact, that's the main goal. <laughs> just try and make contact. Yeah, my match play thinking there was I'll, I'll hit two iron well yeah. down there and make sure I hit a fairway. Good pressure on right for start. Do you know what, I'm just trying to get the ball in play, that's my main goal. Just try to hit it hard. Good. Well done. So Steve with a trusty two iron off the tee. Yeah, that was good, eh? Right up the middle of the fairway position, eh? Just checking the yardage on his second shot. There's a lot of bunkers guarding the front edge of this green, so it's kind of a sensible layout, maybe a 120 yard shot. 120 yard shot. I'll be 270 to the pin. 270. So That's what it's set. It's hard to see. Hey, I'm going to hit. I need iron and just wedge it in there. Aye, just wedge it. Leave yourself kind of maybe what, 90, 100 yards? Try to leave 100 yards, aye. Absolutely. 100 yards, aye. Because I can play this, to, aye, yeah, leave myself 100 yards. That's the shot. Maybe up the right side's good. Better line in there, so. Just trying to fire it over that bunker over there. Strike. New bats in the bag, Steve? New sticks, Jay. New sticks? New set of pings. What, what are you game in now? Ping I 210. Ping I 210s, wow. Yeah, they nice. look gorgeous. They are sexy. <laughs> so, guys, hit my tee shot off the first tee, landed in the first cutter off, got 220 yards to the green. Club selected, four iron. Just going to try and hit the green. Quite a lot of room up there, so I've got quite a lot of margin for error. So, so pin, pins back middle, I think, you, what's your thoughts here? Front edge and let it run on, are you going right hand, right -hand side of the green, left? Right hand side of the green, because we've got bunkers on the left hand side here, so Aye. I'm just going to try and miss it right, because there's, there's more space to the right as opposed to the left. So you've actually, there's, so every shot's got a purpose, eh? So I mean, you, your, your purpose here is front right of the green, yeah. and let it run up, so that's, that's, your, that's your small target, yep. Just trying to make good contact, just trying to move the ball position slightly like, forward back, and come down in it slightly. Good strike. Got the bunker. He hit his eight iron from 270. Just shot this bunker. How far have you got to the green, Steve? 91. 91. Okay. And what club are you selected? Got a 54 degree wedge. 54 degrees. Straight in the hole? Straight. There's nothing to talk about here, <laughs> <DRH. laughs> <laughs> eh? Simply just straight at it. <laughs> Good strike. So when you're playing that shot, what, how would you play that differently from a full wedge shot to a shorter wedge shot? I just uh, decrease length of swing. Right, yeah, yeah. So to hit it further, I would swing longer. I wouldn't put any more force in or any more mm -hmm. velocity. I would just lengthen the swing, lengthen the back swing, lengthen the follow through. Just front of the green, you chat away. So guys, hit my second shot from 220 with four iron, just short of the green. 
got approximately what 25 yards, maybe 15 yards to get it on the front edge of the green. Yeah. And the club I've chosen for this is a 50. I'm just going to try and land it short of the green, let it run on. Right. Okay. So there's no need to throw it up in the air, is there? Nah, no need to throw it up. There's no danger, so we don't have to throw it up in the air. Just almost like a long putt. Stand a bit closer. And just make this move. Yeah, it's pretty good. How do you keep that low? How do I keep that low? I just try and keep the loft down. So uh -huh. then I'll reduce the, as you were saying in the previous shot, I would just try and reduce the length of the fall through, kind of just keeping it to just past my left foot. Right, okay, so to change the lie angle, or the yeah, sort of yeah. dynamic loft, how do you do that? To keep my more forward shaft lean. Aye, absolutely. So guys, Steve's hit his third shot. Just Passed the hole on the left hand side, got approximately 25 feet downhill for his birdie, left to right. Take it away, greens are relatively slow now. Pits and a chip up to 10 feet or so. Yeah, unlucky. Good five though, easy par. Ah, easy par. We've arrived at the second hole and Steve Johnson is on our still yep. after the half at the first, so all square through one. And second hole here, dog leg left to right, short par four, playing 272, uphill into the wind a wee bit. You hitting driver? I don't know, I'm undecided. What yeah. you got, two iron? Two iron again. Two iron. That thing's a bullet though. Well, there's there's a of bounds at the back of the green as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. If yeah. you bang driver in that direction, it has to be over the corner of the trees. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at it slightly right, you've gone. I just think getting up on that plateau anywhere up there is pretty good. It's got loads of room to the left you're here just, as well. Just, ah, exactly. Now you shot one up there, you're just chipping on. Bunker's a good line. Eh? Bunker is a good line. Left edge of the bunker. Is it in the bunker? Yeah. On the left edge of the castle. You right? Yeah, the top of the bunker rolled back in. And he's got a 60, 70 yard bunker shot to an elevated green. He's got to carry it quite a, quite a bit onto the green. And it's a hard one, I it's, it's a hard shot. We'll try to just nip this off the top, Jay. It's in the next bunker. <laughs> Jamie's down here, that bunker behind him is where I was, that bunker there is where I am now, coming over all these mounds and eventually there's a flag there somewhere. This is a bit tricky. Jamie's got about 50 yards. Yeah, he's played it pretty well. Just up the back of the green there, good. So Steve's third shot into the second. Third shot by bunker to bunker. Just as far a shot. It's a hard shot though. First one. This has got to go all the way. Good strike. Hard work this. Could be in the <laughs> hole. How far have you got, Jimmy? Well, say again. How far have you got? Probably about 20 feet, 30 feet. Yep. Up the hill. Up a down slope. 20 foot up the hill.
Let's get this face three. I've played three and I am there. Good bunker shot. Hey, Jay Stroll at home. Uphill. That's it fine. <laughs> That's fine, take that. Right. That's what I have. This is straight at it, Jay. This is just centre cut. Centre cut. We don't cut stuff. Not the half. He's canned it. He did say it was centre cut, mind you. <laughs> But I gave him the read. That was a shocking four, eh? <laughs> There's no pictures on the scorecard. Absolutely. So guys, we've reached the third tee here. Uh, one of the hardest holes in the course. You'd think because it's winter that they would give you an easier hole by moving the tee forward, but they've actually moved the tee further back, making it a little bit more difficult to find the fairway, which hopefully it shouldn't be a, too much of a problem. But you've got bunkers down the left-hand side here, which will carry no bother. You've got quite a tight area down the right side, so Steve on the tee first, all square after two. Strike. Got any thoughts about hitting driver, Steve? What's kind of your... Do you have any Keep swing thoughts? Smooth as possible. Smooth as possible. I get a little bit of jump in my driver and it's not my, it's my, probably my weakest part of my game. Right. Um, although since I've got that new driver, it's been good. Um, but I just, I try and, yeah, keep it as smooth as possible. Don't kill it, don't hit it hard. Yeah, yeah. That's the people fall into that trap and this big fancy head and graphic shaft. I've got to swing faster and harder, but that's not the case. Just keep it smooth, just like a smooth wedge if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Length of club and loft will take care of itself. Yeah, good strike. Well done. What's your driver thought? To be honest with you, I, I just try and, I mean, people say, oh, you need to hit the ball up, but I always try to feel like I'm looking back at the ball as I hit it, because that makes me stay behind it. Look at the back of the golf ball? Back of the golf ball ah, makes right, me okay. stay behind it and hit up with it. Right, excellent. Good. So, simple as that. Guys, Steve's hit his tee shot off the third tee, and he's found the fairway. What yard did you got? I've got 160. 160 and the club selection. Got, do you know I've got an 8 iron in my hand? My my um, my Wilson V6 irons used to be 8 iron was bang on 160. Uh, so I've got 8 iron again, but these got a little bit further. So we're a little bit uphill, a wee bit breeze, so this should be play the equivalent of my 7 iron and my V6. But do you know what? I'm going to hit 7 iron. <laughs> <laughs> I can't convince myself. What would you hit? 160? I'd probably hit 7 iron. It's probably playing about 170, isn't it? Mm. Well, it is, I. Uh, Dangerous at the, behind the pin as well, so you drive the long one short. Exactly, well, you're right. Absolutely. So, we punchy one. I'm going to grip down the club to try and take a little bit off this. And try to keep it lower, more penetrating rather than blowing it up in the air. I'm trying to sort of cover drive this and keep full control of it. See the flag blowing now? Yeah, it's quite windy. So, ball back in stance a little bit. Hands forward, weight left. Straight lines. Great strike. Beautiful shot. Very good shot. That's yeah, fine. So just try to control that ball flight into the wind there by not going full at it, just taking a little bit less club and playing within my strengths. Right, Jimmy, you're about a yard closer than I am. Other side of the fairway, though. What have you got? I've got seven iron. One seven. five nine. One five, yeah, but it's my, that's a good club. What's your thoughts here? Do you know what? Because it's because I've taken too much club, I'm just trying to hold it up slightly. So I'm going to try and cut it, uh -huh. hold it up against the breeze to make it stop quicker. Right. So for this shot, I mean, I, when I'm hitting it in the wind, I just try and keep everything smooth, but try and keep the loft down. Right. So you don't want to hit it too hard. Or I always just try and feel like my chest is over the golf ball for longer. So kind, of, kind of similar to what I did, kind of yeah. try to trap it a little bit. Yeah, almost stay, feel like my chest on top of the golf ball a bit better. Yeah, so you're, you're on top of it, so you're penetrating ball flight. Yeah, 
Yeah, good shot. That's a half. That's a half. <laughs> Brilliant, well done. Good strike. Try and zoom in there, show you where these golf balls are. Steady zoom on Jamie's camera there, yeah. It's like, oh, a couple of pretty decent shots there. Do you talk to yourself when you play golf, Jimmy? Um, sometimes. Depends who I'm playing with. But I mean, like, when you're playing your shot, do you talk yourself through it before you're going to hit it? I kind of, in me, I because do it mentally. Up. I don't obviously talk it loud. Ah, right, I, try and, I try and recite what I want to do, if that makes sense. Like, uh -huh. pins on the right, try and miss it left. Don't know. Got a lot of bunkers to carry. Try and hit it in the air. Right. I, I find talking out loud quite good, though. Yeah. You know, when you're telling the person what they're going to do, like you did there with me and I did with you, yeah. it, seems, it, seems to be better, it seems easier to execute the shot because you've actually said it out loud. So now it's not just pressing on you, but it's just confirmed exactly what you're going to do rather than just thinking about it. You learn more as well because it's like singing in your car and you're driving home yourself. <laughs> if you sing in the car, no one's going to hear you, you're the only one listening, aren't you? That's right, exactly. So yeah. if it's right or wrong, no one's going to judge you. That's it. This is what I'm going to do. Here's how I'm going to do it. I didn't mind to be done, I didn't mind to be done. Let's, let's do this, let's uh, execute. There's the result. Cheers. Ah. All square through three. So guys, on the fourth hole, final hole, all square through three. Um, this hole's 370 off this this tee. This is actually the forward tee. The normal tee is about 100 yards further back. So oh, it is, isn't it? Miles back. 370. 370. Two iron against Steve. Two iron job. Yeah, I don't know Right, so, you're going to try and play this low. Where is the pin? Pins, honestly, I cannot see the pin. The pin's middle of the green, middle front of the green. Back, back middle it is. Back middle. So it doesn't matter where you are, because there's loads of green. I was going to say down the right side's good for the left and so on, but anyway, first thing up, straight in the middle. Maybe a wee bit dry ball, try and flash some shape on it. Which is easier than trying to hit it straight. You said that last week actually, you said try to shape it's easier because hitting the straight shot you can miss both ways. Thing is, I mean if like you that. if you try and hit a draw and you don't release it properly, you're gonna block it, aren't you? So you know you're gonna be right off the green if the pin's left. And you're aiming right anyway, so you know where the miss is gonna be. And vice versa, if you hit a fade and you don't know, pull it slightly, it doesn't quite fully come left to right back, yeah. it's gonna miss left, isn't trying it? Trying to hit it straight. Who knows? <laughs> you try and hit it straight, you're more likely to steer it. Yeah, super flight. That was good. Full release there, Steve. Why? Full release. Right, Jay, three wood? Three wood off the deck, stinger shot. Stinger shot. How do you play a stinger? Uh, swing smooth. Try and keep the loft out. Mm -hmm. Do you aim left to allow for that? Do you, how I do aim you... slightly left because obviously you're moving the ball position back, which makes you swing a little bit steeper. Right, okay. So it's going to naturally get the path from left side. So and the ball being back is going to yeah. de loft it a bit, I guess. So I'm going to aim, I always aim, aim my lower body slightly left just to try and turn through it a little bit easier and keep the face more square up to impact. Cool. Yeah, it's fine, just squatted a bit down the right, it's okay though. So, Evan, we talked about there was with you tried to hit draw, yes. but you knew if you're going to miss, it's going to go to the right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there's no way you're going to flip over because you're too good at blue flats. So we knew that the miss, when I tried to draw, I went down the right side. You walked you a little bit further right, but that was always going to be the miss. Yes, yes. Whereas even yes. straight, as we mentioned, you can miss... Right or left. Like you've got around Scotland there. Exactly. <laughs> right, Jay, just missed the fairway to the right. One, five, four left. Yeah, 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 one, five, four. 
And you've got what club have you got? I've got eight iron. Eight iron. I'm going to just try and hit smooth, just try and feel like I'm leaving the face open slightly. Uh -huh. Pins up the back. Yeah. Loads of room at the front. Danger at the back. Just ball below the feet, what's the thoughts? Uh, because the ball's below the feet, what comes, what tends to happen is the club face sort of comes in all the open. So I'm going to try and aim my feet a little bit left. I feel like I'm swinging along the line of my feet. Because you're going to come down steeper. Yeah, I'm going to come down steeper. Yep. Good strike. Just up the back edge, you can see it there. Yeah, good shot, well done. Thanks. How many yards you got, Steve? 136. 136. Club choice. I've got a wedge. Wedge. No ordinary wedge though, Jamie. Ping wedge. A ping wedge, oh. So 136, as you said, there's plenty of room in front of these pins. Smooth swing. Ball started left, coming back. So Steve hit his second shot on the fourth hole, front edge of the green, button up the hill, maybe 20, 30 feet. Uh, it was a poor, poor wedge. Right, so this is our last hole. Last hole, yeah, for birdie. Take it away. I did yeah. see you jump. Jumped. Do you want it? Just a bit, please, yeah. This for the match. This for the match. It's been good. I wish you all the best with this putt. No, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Ah. Right, good effort. So, do you know, let's play an extra hole, will we? Let's play an extra hole. Have yeah. a playoff. Sudden death. Sudden death. So, we reached the fifth hole, guys. Playoff hole, all squared after four, parred every hole. Steve's first on the tee. I'm looking to break that duck for now. What is it? You've got one, three, one, three, six. One, three, six. Oh, I just got a wedge. You find the point off the match, Jamie? Not really, Steve. No. Yeah. That's why I avoid the range quite a lot. That's why you let me go first. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally good. Right, one, three, six wedge. Strike. Got left as well, man. Front edge of the green. Uh, Somewhere in between that and the flat, that'll be alright. Nice smooth. Oh, it's a good line. Very good line. Let's try and zoom in here. Excellent. Nine iron. See it just there, just left the pin. Good, yeah, well done. Thank you. This all. is intense, this Jamie. This is honestly, this has put me under pressure. This is uh, this is match play all day long. Steve putting for birdie. Hit his wedge off the tee, middle of the green. Thank you all. And mine's is just to the, the right of that for birdie. Up the hill. Take it away. Easy three. Jamie's got this for the match. You got eight feet, ten feet, eight feet. Yeah. You got left to right. Eh? Oh my word! Unbelievable. Cheers to the game. Cheers, man. Well Cheers. done. Very good. Good two. Deserved that. Really? One up through five. It's a close game again, though. It was. They've all been close matches. It's just, just all pars, and our birdie was going to win a hole, and that's just, you unfortunately, did it the wrong thing. <laughs> Vlog, I won one up on the sudden death playoff hole. Birdie on that hole. Two in normal reg regulation play. Steve, what's your YouTube channel? Steve Johnson PGA. Make sure you subscribe to that. It's flying.
It is flying. It is absolutely flying. Brilliant. And I'd like to thank Cardona Con Golf and Country Club for allowing us courtesy today. The course is in great condition. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel at Jamie Allen Golf and follow me on my other social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Jamie Allen Golf. Make sure you like the video and share it around to your friends.